If you're a Sony FX6 shooter and you're constantly wondering why do you have eight channels of audio when you put them into Premiere Pro, I have the solution, I found it, I'm very excited to show you. Let's get into this video. Internet, welcome back. It's Robert T. Garden here again with another video, and I'm really excited to share this one with you today. I post content on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. If that's something that you're into, stick around at the end of this video, and we'll talk about you maybe uh, giving this video a little bit of a likesy poo, something like that. All right, so if you are a Sony FX6 shooter, you're fantastic. You've got this fancy cinema camera that's Netflix approved. It's got all of the different bells and whistles and gadgets, but then you take it into your NLE specifically in this case, Premiere Pro, and you drag in eight channels of audio. Well, this is particularly confusing for me because if you look on the FX6 audio inputs, which are robust and fantastic and the pickups are great, you really only have four channels of inputs that you can put into the Sony FX6 anyway. So where do these other eight channels come from and why are we constantly dealing with them? The other issue that I have is if I'm shooting with other types of cameras because I own an FX3 and I have other people that I shoot with regularly that have different camera protocols, it kind of messes up my edits and these sorts of things when I'm dragging in audio, it just kind of kills the other types of audio flow that I have going on in these particular timelines. So I went to Google's, I typed in some stuff, I came up with this guy and Doug Jensen, you are a damn genius. Thank you so much for this solution and here's what Doug had to say. If you can see on this timeline right here, I have a regular FX6 uh, piece of footage and you can see the eight different channels that I have here. Let's move this up so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, eight channels of audio. Crazy, don't need them, don't want them, don't, I just, no. no. I think it's something in the XML data that's kind of giving this stuff to us. I don't really know the details. If you know, post a comment down below. I'd really love to know what this actual answer is. Here's how we solve the problem. If we go down to the footage that's in my project bin right here, I can right click, go to modify, I can go to audio channels and it brings up this dialog box here, which is modify clip. Now really the easy way to do this is I go to my number of audio clips. I type in four to match the actual audio inputs that are on my FX6, but you can put whatever you want. If you know that you only recorded audio info on track one, two, or two and four, or three and four, you can literally just put whichever ones you want and then you click out of that dialog box and you'll see that the different clip sources are there and you can keep these things in line. Now, if I just click okay for this particular piece of footage, if I drag it into my timeline, boom, I've only got four audio channels. Now, sometimes for me, I record different types of audio inputs on different particular channels. Sometimes it's the internal audio on channel four. I've got a lav mic, I've got an overhead and maybe some other sort of overhead or lav mic on someone else. If I'm doing an interview, you, you guys get the idea. I can kind of keep things where I want them. So four for me tends to be pretty good. But a lot of times I know I have audio on just track one and track two. I can nix it, put two channel audio, drag that thing in there and it performs like any other relatively recent piece of footage from Sony. And there you have it. I mean, this thing is like a revolutionary realization for me. Like I said, Doug Jensen, thank you. You are an angel sent from above. And I really appreciate the fact that you put this on the Sony Cine Cinematographer channels. Uh, if you like this video, like the damn video. If you haven't already, subscribe because we're bringing this type of value to you all the time here on the Tea Garden channel. If I don't see in the past, I'll see in the future. That's another video in can, ladies and germs. I literally was had a whole other video planned for this week. I found this particular hack, I guess you could say, and I said, stop the presses. We're gonna give this type of video a try because I, I think you guys are gonna really love this. It, it, it's, it, it's changed my world. All right, enough. See you later.